another edition of MCS TV. We have produced an episode on space in honour of Tim Peake becoming the first British astronaut to reach the International Space Station and the release of the latest Star Wars film, The Force Awakens. First up is an interview with Head of Physics, Mr Davis. Well, my interest in astronomy is the fact I'm head of physics here at Morrison Comprehensive School. So as part of the physics curriculum, as part of the physics we teach, astronomy, cosmology, space, planets, are all part of what we teach and what the pupils learn. Uh, Tim Peake's mission has been vital, I believe, to uh, pupils actually developing an interest in astronomy in the UK. Tim Peake, Tim Peake would obviously be in the British um, well, major, isn't he, from uh, helicopter pilots going up into space. Not only does it develop people's interest in astronomy, but also possibly a military career as well. Space is absolutely massive. It's the biggest thing in, in science. Uh, biology, chemistry lag behind somewhat compared to physics. Physics being the, the study of the very small from the Higgs boson, what makes up the atom, to the very big the very big questions, not just in science, but also ethically and uh, religious aspects as well. So physics, actually talking about space, develops an interest in uh, what is life, what is what is existence. So physics is, is the be-all and end-all, much better than maths or English. to enjoy things to do with space and science fiction. We caught up with a math teacher who has a fascination for Star Wars films. Oh, science fiction. Yeah, see, probably started uh, oh, back when I was about 10, 11, 12, and I started reading Arthur C. Clarke novels. Um, but that then moved on into Star Wars, which I'd been watching, Star Trek, and all the spin-offs there's been since then. Yes, yes, it exceeded it. Um, it was fantastic. Everything that I wanted and a lot more in the movie. It was perfect. My wife is a non-Star Wars fan. She's never, she fell asleep in episode three in the cinema. Um, I took her to see it in December uh, and uh, she actually loved it. She thought it was great. So um, it had everything there that she liked as well. It was a good story and was quite true to episode four, when you hope. Up next is an interview with science teacher, Miss Colhoun. She will be telling you about the science activities at Morriston Comprehensive. So we uh, applied through the Royal Horticultural Society to receive some uh, seeds from space. Um, the sample that we're being sent is the ones that have been up on the International Space Station with Tim Peake during his incipient mission. They're also going to send us a control sample which have remained on Earth uh, through this uh, time period and we have to grow them together and compare and send off our results. They wanted to know mainly whether um, the anti-gravity atmosphere they have up there is going to have an effect on the seeds. So this, uh, this term we've been working on a topic with Year 8 of uh, space, looking at the planets, people say some research. And actually next week is National Science Week where we are running some activities for Key Stage 3 pupils all centred around the Orion mission to Mars. So this is based around the film The Martian uh, where some astronauts are travelling to Mars and one of them gets stranded there. So we've based our activities around survival on Mars uh, looking for your three key essentials, food, oxygen and water. On Wednesday next week we're actually running a trip to the Big Bang Fair. It's a national science a technology engineering and maths fair held in Birmingham and I think uh, we're going to have some feedback on that next week. Um, I'm interested in seeing the pupils reaction first of all to a lot of the careers based stalls that are there especially for year nine pupils who've just selected their options for next year and giving them a good opportunity to start thinking about maybe a career in STEM related subjects 
Uh, personally though, there is going to be a theatre style um, exhibition from some guys that are talking to us about the science behind a lot of stuff that goes on in Hollywood films, uh, how they create the explosions, how they create gunfire and those sorts of things. So I think that'd be quite exciting. Thank you for watching MCS TV. Hope you enjoyed our space adventure. Goodbye.